Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, my dear friends. We're on day 112 of the Quran habit. I like these verses a lot. There's a lot I could say about them. But I'm going to just recite tonight. I think keep it short. I will read it in English and then recite it in Arabic. I think the verses speak for themselves. But in case, in case someone hearing this uh, happens to really enjoy alcohol, and I can understand if you grew up in a home that's given to drinking or if you it's become your custom, it's natural to like alcohol um, in that case. But, but it, has, it has some very adverse consequences and side effects. So among them, according to the Washington Post in a 2017 article, one in eight American adults are alcoholic and alcoholism is on the rise. And then according to a CNN article from 2022, one in five U.S. adults aged 20 to 49 die from excessive drinking. So the impact is, is quite intense. I remember reading a Buddhist teaching, and it really touched me because the, the Buddhist community doesn't really have such strict rules about these things as such. But this one community felt that even if alcohol did not adversely impact them, they vowed not to have it because they knew that for some people, some people are highly susceptible to it. And if one drink could actually alter their entire life. And that person who becomes drunk also harms or, you know, can hurt other people um, and make a lot of silly mistakes or just do things that they are embarrassed about after the fact. So because of the harm that results often from drinking, the this particular Buddhist community uh, vowed not to partake of alcohol. And I always thought that was a very uh, wise and powerful thing. Because some people, if you've, if you've studied alcoholism at all, or if you've known anyone who suffered from it, 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 it affects some of the most brilliant and beautiful and best people. And it's not a question of their poor character or weakness. It's, it's, it's something it does to one's brain chemistry. And it's a hereditary... It has hereditary components, and it's not easy to break. So it has to be done gradually and gently and with great care by people who actually uh, know what they're doing. And I had the pleasure of seeing our Sufi peer, Hazrat Mulana Chaman Qadri, Allah Perfume is Resting Place, um, guide someone through this. And, they, and he did it the same way that it was done at the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, through stages. So these verses about uh, pro prohibiting drinking they were revealed in three parts, and it was a gradual progression that enabled enabled people to leave it. And now in most most Islamic countries and around the world and most Muslims, you will not see that they drink. Now, you, you can and will be shocked. Sometimes you find Muslims who drink, uh, but most Muslims do not. And um, in most Muslim countries, it's not necessarily uh, something that they want to sell or sell. So, so, and that, I think, was from the wisdom and the guidance of Allah and his Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam protecting us at least from this one vice and they say it's the mother of all sins so think about that so it's a great it's a great vice to be protected from but if you know like I said if you know someone who is suffering from this it should be you should look at them with compassion um, and 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 love and patience and and do not think ill of them or do not put them down or in any way uh, disparage them or imagine, um, imagine that they have poor character because it's not that. Uh, if we found ourselves in the same position, we may be literally in the same state, and so we need to be considerate and careful with that. I, I actually also witnessed that where I saw someone mistreat a person who was um, who dealt with this difficulty, and they the other person felt superior to them, and they behaved in the most contemptuous way with them, in an extremely unkind way. Uh, in, a, in a very ignorant way, and it was very pain. It was painful to watch. It was painful to watch. So, the point is, is that in everything that we are commanded to do or to abstain from, there is benefit. So, it's not that God is harsh, or uh, uh, what's that? A poor sport? Not at all. Uh, there are wonderful and great ways to have fun. My God's grace, my parents were always sober. They, they didn't. Uh, they didn't drink. And my uh, grandfather was very staunch about that. And so they inculcated the ability to enjoy a natural high. So that's that's very important. And there are many many ways to do that, by God's grace. So, 
Now I will recite inshallah ta'ala and it's his goodness from Allah. A'udhu billahi minashaytanir rajim Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu Innama khamru wal maysiru well, unsabu, well, unsabu, well, as lamu, regisum mean, amasil shaitani, fajatani boo, la alacum, to flee hoon. In nama. You read the shaitan, ay, you qi'a baynakum al-adawata wal-bagda'a fil-khamri wal-maysiri wa ya suddakum wa ya suddakum an dhikrillahi وَأَنَشْ صَلَاهِ فَهَلْ أَنْتُمْ مُنْتَهُونَ وَأَتِّعُوا اللَّهَ وَأَتِّعُوا الرَّسُولَ وَاحْذَرُوا فَإِنْ تَوَلَّيْتُمْ فَاعْلَمُوا أَنَّمَا عَلَى رَسُولِنَا الْبَلَاغُ الْمُبِينَ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَظِيمُ Please forgive me for my reading mistakes and kindly like, share and subscribe and I hope you have a beautiful night.